Catch you at pancake time. Hello again. I'm Nathan, you're watching What's My Fault. As I said, Japan crate time. Hopefully we've got a full box this time. Okay, let's put that down next to us. Open that first. Give it a sneak peek like I usually do. There we go. And everything falls out. Let me grab that. Uh, what fell out, what fell out? Oh, I've got the buckle this time. That's a good start. Okay. Booklet. Ooh, what's up in the crate? Oh, wow. Why can't I ever win that? That's not fair. Look at all the stuff there. Oh, wouldn't that be nice to win? I never win anything. All right. All right, okay. So, let's dip in the box, see what we find. Ooh, fish, fish. Oh, there's two different colors. There's purple and there's a yellow. Well, they might be soft ones, but it looks like they might be hard candy. So we have a few different ones. So we've got that sort, and we have that sort, and one of those. Oh, good one. Only the one black one. Oh no, there's two black ones. Oh, which one do we have most of? I think we've got most of the koi carp, possibly. Alright, let's see how it opens. Oh, it's a yellow one. It's a hard candy, so you see it open up like that. A yellow sticky hard candy. Mmm. Mmm, melon. I think. Mmm. That's rather nice. Goldfish candy. Fishing for goldfish is an activity commonly found at Japanese festivals. Pineapple and grape. Okay. Yeah, pineapple. No, it says pineapple. Idiot. Uh, pineapple and grape candies are mm, filled with fizzy powder. These candies are apt to look like goldfish, so as if you bought some the goldfish you won at the local market festival. Hmm. 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 So the other ones, excuse me, are pineapple. Mm. Not bad, and the other ones are great. What in the world? Ooh, there's a toy or something, is it? Ooh! Oh, that's cool. See, I'll try to keep the light away from it. Lots of different things in here. What will this be, I wonder? Soon we'll be getting a bigger and better box from Japan crate. I'm not sure when that starts. There are more items, like 20 items in CF15. So that should be interesting. Alright. Put the version onto one side, so you can see a bit better now. Got a bit of light behind the camera, so... Mm. Alright, so that's... Grape. Not sure what it is, but it's grape. It's soft. That's apple. Right, those are hard sweets too. Yellow ones. Not sure why it's all separate like this, but there we go. Ooh. Little candies. Other little candies. So interesting. They're all numbered and stuff. So I'm not sure what the numbers are for. I'll find out in a minute. Bigger half candies. And then I'm not sure what this is. Other the little cards. This is a bonus. I'm not sure exactly what it is. It's like little cardboard rabbity things with exact same right on over. Okay, let's have a look what this is first. It's a variety DIY raffle game. Bringing the festival to you. See the DIY page to experience a bit of festival fun at home. 
All right, I'm gonna leave this because it's a DIY page. Um, so this is a DIY thing. So I'm gonna leave this for Oh, there it is. Who won the five lottery cards? See which number is inside, and when the candy prize costs more that number. This sweet set is filled with classic Japanese candies, fun activity to share with friends and family. Which one did you win? Okay, so. Alright, so each of these you open up and it has a corresponding number to match what's in this, so I'm going to put those back. So I can play that with Jack later. Okay. I shall put all that on one side, keep that safe. So I can play that with Jack. I should have read it first before taking all that. I want to know what was in it, so. Du -du -du -du. Ooh. That's a jelly candy. Okay, I'm going to keep. What the hell? Looks like a cucumber on it. What's a cucumber? What's a cucumber for? Want a cucumber candy? Cider jelly ball. This tasty jelly is infused with refreshing soda flavour. Cool. Okay. I'm, I'll keep that for Jack because he likes those. And we've, we've had jelly ball before. That's fine, I've not missed out on anything with that. Now, da, 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 da. Uh, gum as always. These are quite nice, but it's Super Mario. Okie dokie. Super Mario Brothers Wii. Classic. What does it say about that? All right, Mario Wii gum. That, that sounds wrong, but I hope that's not the flavor and that's just the name of it. That's wrong. Cute gum features classic video game character Mario. Enjoy this orange flavored gum when you need a bite to tide you over. Cool. Come for some Mario. We all love Mario. Oh, what else is there? Hide the little things again. Just another hard candy. This one. Cider Bowl Ramune. Uh, it's a Gashi Shop Classic Blends Hard Candy with a fresh and taste. That taste is lovely. Actually, I went to a Japanese restaurant recently and had some Ramune drinks. Where's my bottle? Where's up? Where's up? Where's up? Ah, one second. I had one of these. Of course, that you see, there's a glass marble inside. Basically, the marble is in the top there, stopping the liquid. You put this on top and punch the marble out, and it comes there. Really, really nice melon flavour. Really, really enjoyed this. Very good. So, yeah, that's cool. I've wanted one of those trays, and they do them in my local Japanese restaurant. So, Mount Fuji is the Japanese restaurant in the centre of Cardiff in St David's. If you have, if you're in the area. Really good. They were a bit slow, but they did apologize and made up for it. So yeah, the food's really good. Nice sushi there. All right, let's carry on. Something else small. I tend to leave these small ones for Jack because he likes them. Oh, that's an that's a, see, that's, <laughs> that's actually the same but rummy in shape. Okay. Moon bottle gummy. Moon bottle shaped gummy. It's both tasty, mm, cute and tasty. If you had to purchase this in a Japanese candy shop and you got the winning candy, you would return to that store for a prize. Yeah, we get winning candies as well. Cool. There's lots of little things in this one. Very strange. <gasps> Kit Kat. Different Kit Kats. Is there more than one of these? So I'm going to have to have a look. And I, I don't want to eat them all. Right, so I've got two. Right, what does it say? Bonus. Frozen strawberry cheesecake Kit Kat. Special edition Kit Kat is perfect for summer. They have a light strawberry cheesecake flavour blended with the white chocolate. It's encouraged to eat them frozen to taste it. As if they're strawberry cheesecake ice cream. Freeze them. We had ones before, you could bake, bake last one, so. Alright. Okay, so I'm gonna split this one and then I'll freeze the other ones and let you know what it's like. But I gotta try it. Ooh yeah. You can smell. It does smell like strawberry cheesecake. Oh wow. That's got strawberry in it. How cool is that? Hmm. Wow. Why can't we get Kit Kats like that? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Okay. That is nice. Very nice. We have these a lot, and they're always broken. Okay. Shrimp mayo and bayo. Oh, shrimp mayo. Even mayo is a classic appetizer. Mm. Typically served mm. at mm. Izaki. 
dish is made of shrimp dressed in kippu, Japanese mayo, and fried with rich savory experience. Okay, shrimp and mayo. I, I do like prawns and mayo, I must admit. My favourite Chinese restaurants in the area does a lot of dim sum. One of the best ones is the prawns in mayonnaise. Oh, so nice. I'm not always in love with prawns, but that very, 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 very good. Right, let's have a look what this is. Mm, kind of prawny smelling. Except it is broken. It's always a little bit annoying, but it is pretty soft, so you expect it to break a little bit. There we go, as always. Mm, not a lot of flavour, those never I'm they're never my favourite. They're okay, but mm, not great. Not great, not great, not great. Oh big one. Ooh. Cocaya mm, fried potato. Mmm. What flavour that is? I like my crisps. Crisps are always good. I like unusual crisps. Inside the packet, they're crisps. So you see, it's slightly green looking. Mm, I'm just salted. Oh. Salted, but quite crispy. Mm, that's not bad. Okay, so. These potato chips are dusted with a unique sea salt made from matcha from Michel Nature, the leading producer of matcha powder. It goes famous MIT ceremony. Okay. Texture is to impure inspired, creating a light and crunch experience. Make the chip to recommend eating some atop Japanese comfort food of rice with green tea, seasoned with toppings like seaweed. Hmm. Don't say I don't taste much matcha in it, but still not bad. Right, I've got lots of little things now. Ooh, don't know what that is. Some kind of cakey cake. Cakey cake cake. It's just one when you have like 15 items and some of them are so small, like the, the gum. I think the gum is a bit, a bit disappointing. I'm not going to take all the way out. Like a very dry cake, across from a biscuit. It's like a biscuity, cakey thing. Okay, King Voss crown. Oh no, this King Voss is crown, but too bad for him. It's too delicious to give up. This crisp cookie is filled with chocolate and made to look like his two-tone crown. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Bit for biscuit as well. What the hell is that? Oh, look, is that a pancake? That looks like a pancake inside. Like two pancakes. I'm, I'm gonna read this up first. Um, oh. It's funny snack jokes that they forgot to add the anchor or red bean filling. But don't fret, the two pancakes are super delicious and perfect for people who are picky about anchor filling. Also, the man on the package is very apologetic about his mistakes, so let's forgive him this time. So it's supposed to have red bean paste, but it's just the pancake. And he's saying sorry. Do I open it? Two pancakes. Mm. Just a little pancake. A little sorry, man. Okay, so that's just just tiny little pancakes. That's fair enough. Not bad. Oh, oh, koalas! We love koalas. You get these a lot of different places. There, little biscuits filled with chocolate with little koala pictures on them, which is always quite nice. Come on, open. 
give me koala. I want a koala. I believe that Japanese koalas are more like, obviously. Australian. But this is a traditional thing for a while. We've had these before. Can we see that koala? The koala. And on the back, you can see where they put the chocolate there. So, little cute koala. What's he doing? Hard to tell. Hmm. Tastes still the yummy chocolate. Mmm. But. Mmm. Japanese favourite, Koala March, is here to celebrate mm, Tanabata. Tanabata falls on July 7th and is known as the Star Festival. These trees are decorated with iconic koalas dressed in various zodiac symbols mm, and as, fam as the famous lovers. I, I can't even pronounce that, okay. Right, so it's a celebration of the two lovers you see on the front, on the back, on the back. Celebration of them. But I can't pronounce the names because I'm crap at Japanese. I really need to learn it. But I don't have time most of the time. Do 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 do. Ooh, coconut, coconut pie. That looks interesting. Twelve coconut pies. Ooh, I like to only get pieces like this. I get those individual things. So. Eat this one. Oh. Ooh, it's two in here. Is it two or is it one? It's two. Cool. Right. Ooh. So you see, kind of biscuity with frosting. Hmm. A very fluff, fluffy, light. It's like a pastry company rather than a biscuit. It's glazed, gives a bit more crunch, and then topped with coconut frost, I think. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Not a lot of flavour, but it's okay. A coconut pie. Each flaky pie is coated with a light coconut icing, making for a delicious summer treat. Feel like you've tasted special festival dessert can you find? Hmm. That's reasonable. We have oh wait for manga cat. Well, I was expecting last month, but Emerald Mountain Blend. It's coffee. And I'm not gonna drink that now because I want to save that because I love cold coffee now. Which is bizarre for me liking cold coffee. I've always hated cold coffee until I had the previous one. It was delicious. It was a bigger can than this. But I'm, I'm going to put that in the fridge and save that because I'm going to have that later. That's going to be good because I really like cold coffee. It's not like sweetened. Can't have cold coffee that's just bitter because it's wrong. And we have a big box last. We have chocolate chip cookies. I'm not sure. Chocolate chip cookies. But I don't know much else about them. It tells you how to open it and it shows you the other flavours. Chocolate chips, chocolate chips. And butter cookies and stuff. Also available from this time. Okay. Let's open it then, shall we? Um, oh wow, look at that. Several packets. Okay. Let's carefully open one packet. Carefully, carefully, carefully. Right, so we'll separate out one, one little pack of the cookies. It's broken, but it's fine. Okay, let's get the corner. Okay, these are red. They're chocolate chip, but they're kind of a ready pinky color. Woo! What? The first thing is chocolate chip. And then the flavour hits you. It's like an aftertaste. You won't believe what flavour it is. Watermelon. Watermelon chocolate chip cookies. Who comes up with this stuff? It's actually really nice and it does taste of watermelon. But it's a chocolate chip cookie. Why? 
I'm not complaining. It's, I can still taste watermelon. It, it is just an aftertaste of watermelon. Like there's nothing. It's crunchy, nice texture. It's like more fried feel into it than most cookies rather than just baked. I don't know, it's got kind of more crunchy exterior. And then you get the aftertaste, and you, and you do get the watermelon aftertaste. That is one of the most bizarre things I've had. What the hell? All right. Watermelon chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Have a taste of some of these unique watermelon chocolate chip cookies. Watermelons blended into the dough with this yummy summer treat. Chocolate chip makes them appear like a slice of watermelon. That's why they're red and they've got chocolate chips. Hmm. That's actually quite nice. I quite like that. Hmm. Unusual box. <coughs> some things we've had before. Some uh, it's the little things that I think are a bit of a nah, because you kind of taste them when they're gone. I like to have the packets with multiple things in it, but oh cool. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Not bad. I still haven't had my items from last month that were missing. So I'll email them again and find out where they are. Because I don't know. It's a bit annoying. Anyway, thanks all for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. It's been a set an unusual box. I think the chocolate chip cookies are the surprise in there. Because those are quite good. The fact that they have watermelon flavour is just weird. Anyway, thanks all for watching. Please hit the like button and come see me again soon. Bye bye for now.